Hey guys, this is Ben and welcome back to the Low Voltage Garage. For this week's video, I'm sitting down and you better be too. We just got back from Michigan where we talked with the people at Sound Off Signal and got completely educated on their blueprint system. Blueprint from Sound Off is a completely computerized and integrated lighting and siren control. It utilizes a blueprint version of the 480 siren, a control head that you'll be used to seeing from the 480 series. In this case, they had a 200 watt dual tone siren along with a Whalen Howler. This customer was very specific on exactly what lighting he wanted and where he wanted the layout to be. Not only just the layout and what items, but also the flash patterns. With SoundOff's blueprint system, we can control multiple phases of the lighting package. Example, slide switch being in modes one, two, and three. We can take those slide switch items and pair them with features coming from the vehicle, such as we know when the vehicle is in park or in drive, and we can use that to create specific programs allowing for specific flash patterns. Also integrated into the vehicle, our inputs such as logics for when the brakes come on, when your turn signals come on, perhaps when the parking lights or even the high beams come on. Not just with the buttons on the 480 control head, we can also install secondary buttons such as one hidden on the A pillar to create a blitz feature in case the officer needs just a few more seconds to disrupt someone who's coming up toward the vehicle but we can use all of the buttons on the 480 control head and a wide variety of features to operate any number of outputs in any configuration. The blueprint being controlled by a computerized central controller offers an extreme amount of powerful features. The front windshield along with the rear window, we installed SoundOff Enforce multicolor light bars. The light bar in the rear window is a bit of a Frankenstein item as we took the Enforce dual color modules from an interior visor light and mated them into perhaps a not sound off product that fit very nicely into the back window. You'll notice that the majority of our second level, second tier lighting are new items from sound off called the M power lights. These lights come in single, dual, and tricolor options. And they have a wide variety of mounting options as well. Stud mounts, adhesive mounting, flange mounts, surface mounts. Having so many choices for mounting options and color combinations fit this vehicle perfectly. In the rear of the vehicle, we use the M-Power lights in multicolor mode, not only to have red and blue warning respectively, but also to tap into the brake and reverse signals. For instance, when we have the warning lights flashing, either in modes one, two, or three, as soon as the operator presses on the brakes, those warning lights disengage, brake lights engage. That way, if the officer is in a high stress situation, the people behind them know exactly what he's doing and don't get confused with the small brake lights from the factory, blending in to all of the other emergency warning lights. You'll see also when the warning lights are activated and the operator of the vehicle has his turn signal on, either to the left or to the right, that the lights that we have mounted with an amber tricolor turn off of the warning features and turn onto amber blinkers. You'll notice also with the warning lights activated, when the operator opens his door, we've mounted Empire lights down at the rocker panel level. The customer has provided the vehicle with Chevron stickering that's reflective, but adding these multicolor flashing lights down at the rocker panel level is sure to attract some attention and make sure the oncoming traffic knows when those doors are being open, creating a larger, wider presence for the vehicle and hopefully a safer exit for the operator. As we walk around to the rear of the vehicle and we lift the lift gate, the hatch will rise up, 
Mounted inside of the hatch are more M power lights, this utilizing a different mounting option than what we've seen. However, the M power lights are so small, they're easily hidden not only within the operator's door side, but also this rear hatch. Multicolored lights were used here as well, and tied in with the integrated blueprint system, we can flash each individual light with each individual color in synchronization with the entire car. Now as we walk around and look at the front of the vehicle, we'll notice some key features, namely the multicolor lighting in the grill, in the lower grill, in the fog lights, in the headlights, on the front of the mirrors, underneath the mirrors, and all the way across the windshield. We've loaded up this car with multicolor, red, blue, and white sound off lights, not only the M powers, but also the intersectors, the interior end force bar, and in the fog lights, came the factory Whalen vertex lights that we've also integrated by putting them onto steady burn and having them flash with the sound off blueprint system. As we move through the different pursuit modes, mode one being lights only to the rear and a slow flash pattern, mode two being lights all the way around the vehicle and a faster flash pattern, mode three then allowing when the vehicle is moving in drive or reverse to not only flash red and blue color, but to the front of the vehicle also flash white mixing in with the red and blue. When the vehicle is moving, this offers much more visibility, especially with the headlight flasher that we've added in from sound off. However, when the vehicle is stopped and put into park, automatically it switches down to only red and blue color in mode two. This is completely controlled by the computerized blueprint system because it's sensing exactly when the vehicle is out of drive and put into park. Another feature that we've added into the blueprint system is allowing the blueprint to know when the horn is being depressed. The press of the horn, depending if the vehicle is parked in drive, what mode selected on the control panel, will allow different features to happen. For instance, if the vehicle is moving, the slide switch is in mode three, the siren is on, when you press the horn, it will change the siren tones. If you press and hold the horn, it will create a wall of white to the front of the vehicle, meaning only a few select red and blue lights will remain flashing. Otherwise, the rest of the lighting turns to white shocking and alerting the vehicles in front of you that you are actually behind them. The air horn will also engage. Some other neat features that we've integrated into the blueprint system is allowing the blueprint to know when our high beams are on. We've written a specific program into this blueprint system so that if the vehicle has the takedown lights on, takedown lights being only a few modules in the light bar that are white, forward facing, and a few modules in the grill. Once the vehicle's high beams are activated, the entire front of the vehicle places into a wall of white. However, the vehicle is parked and that white will stay on for the duration that the high beams are on. This allows the officer to have an option between a low powered takedown, I guess you could call it, versus a high powered scene light to flood an entire area full of white light. I mentioned that we could add in secondary buttons, for instance, a hidden button on the A pillar, sending a ground signal into the blueprint control box. This secondary button, we can program to control features such as a blitz feature. For instance, in a high risk traffic stop, the officer partially exits his vehicle using the door and his warning lights as concealment. If a subject exits the vehicle ahead of him, isn't listening to commands, the officer might be able to reach around, press on the A pillar, the secondary button, giving a blitz of white high frequency warning lights, but also a piercing modulation on his 200 watt siren. Hopefully this will distract the subject coming toward the officers long enough that the officers can react, subdue the occupant, or disengage and get other armament or whatever they would need from the rear of their vehicle to contain the scene. 
Moving into the front operator's area of the vehicle, we've installed a Gamber Johnson console with computer dock on a multi-motion swing arm. That allows the computer to swing all the way from a position against the dash to a comfortable ergonomic position in front of the driver that he or she can type on, fill out reports, not have to strain their eyes looking far away to the computer. Also mounted in the Gamber Johnson console, we have the blueprint control head, also a Motorola radio provided from the department, and lower down we have a VASCAR radar option also provided from the department. Cup holders, a swing away multi-motion armrest, a Streamlight flashlight is also mounted on the base plate. We can see that this department has opted for a black rack weapons containment system and also a handcuff style, as we might call it, SC6 lock from Santa Cruz. Also in other areas of the vehicle, we've integrated sound off interior lighting, not only for the rear passenger containment area, that way this officer can illuminate one side of the vehicle versus the other for each of his rear passengers in either a bright white or subdued red LED lighting. All right, we want to thank you guys for joining us in this walk around and in-depth tour of the 2016 Ford Utility that we've upfitted with SoundOff's Blueprint Controller. Hope you enjoy and we'll see you on the next one.